Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Chemistry Tutor. We're going to continue doing reaction stoichiometry that involves gases. Um, I think they're a little bit fun, actually, because you get to do reaction stoichiometry, but you have a different element of it to it that we haven't tackled before, and, that, and that's involving the gases. So keep in mind that it's very common for you. You have to use PV is equal to NRT somewhere in the solution here. All right, now for the first problem that we're going to do here, we'll use the following reaction, 2H2 gas plus O2 gas, very common reaction, right? 2H2O, and that's a liquid. Now this is balanced, you can see four hydrogens, four hydrogens, two oxygens, two oxygens. Okay, so the question is, how many liters of hydrogen gas are needed to react completely with 6.00 liters of oxygen gas to form H2O liquid, which is liquid water, at a constant pressure and temperature. The only thing that's really important here is for you to note that it's constant temperature and pressure. Notice it did not tell us it was at STP. It didn't tell us what the pressure or the temperature was, but that doesn't matter because all that matters is you're allowed to use volume ratios for the gas components of reactions as long as the temperature and pressure are constant. So when you look at this reaction, um, not, not, not even considering the gas law part of it. You know that this is two moles of this plus one mole of this yields two moles of that. That's how we've been reading it so far. Now you've expanded your knowledge to know that since these are gases and everything's constant temperature and pressure, you can also read this to say one, two liters of this plus one liter of that is gonna react in that ratio. Notice that the water that's produced is a liquid. So obviously you can't use this as two, two liters of liquid. The, the using the volume ratio thing, that only applies to the gas components of the reaction. But this is an important thing for you to understand is that even though there's a non-gas here, you can still use volume ratios for the gas components that are present. So it doesn't matter if you have solids or liquids running around, you're still allowed to use that for the gas components that are, components that are present. So it says we start with six liters, 6.00 liters, uh, liters of oxygen gas. And the question says, how many liters of H2 are needed to react with that? So um, because we're going from oxygen, we wanna know how many hydrogen, we know that we're locked in a two to one ratio and we can read that as, as, uh, in terms of volume, okay? So we know that one liter of oxygen gas reacts with two liters of hydrogen gas. That's the ratio. The liters of O2 gas cancels with the liters of O2 gas. So what you do is take six times two and you're gonna get 12. You can just round that and drop all the decimals, 12 liters of H2 gas. Very simple problem. Um, you just read it as, as, as if it were um, volume ratios, which is what it is when you have a constant temperature and pressure. It does not matter.